nothing like a morning walk down here on this little road along the beach palm trees big trees looking up i've been looking for some sloths i haven't seen any but i have definitely seen some scarlet macaws and it's cool when you look up to see those things flying they got the big wings and the tail and they look really cool but along this place and it's not set up now because it's pretty early but along this little strip right here they have some restaurants and some little trinket stores but it's a nice area with the birds flying overhead coconuts up in the tree and the waves crashing over there you know snow and i love this type of environment but anyway it's been a beautiful walk i'm headed back to the van we've got some driving to do we're going to go up into the mountains today and we're going to look for quetzals if you remember we saw the quetzals in guatemala and so super excited we got to see those there in guatemala and hoping fingers crossed we get to see them today up in the mountains it's also going to be cooler we left the coast and we are immediately headed up the mountains the mountains are steep and I just started seeing our first glimpse of clouds. So we're definitely going up into the clouds for us. And we're going up into an area that boasts Costa Rica's highest elevation point. And this is the spot where we hope to find the Getsman. So we're gonna climb these windy steep roads with beautiful views and vistas until we get to our camp spot. 30 minutes into the drive, straight up into the mountains, and what do we find? Rain. We're up in the cloud forest, rainforest, the wet and soggy area, and it has begun. So we're climbing up into the mountains from the coast, and there's a cool little town, I guess it's more like a city, down in this valley that we're starting to get glimpses of. And we will be back to this city soon. Not right away, we have a little bit of time left here. But that city is where the vet is, where we will take the two little kitties to get the paperwork done to cross the border into Panama. Time's getting short, but we're not done here. We are not done in Costa Rica. No, we've got more exploring to do here. And then we go to that city down there in the valley that looks very pretty get these guys to the vet get ready to head to Panama but first we're looking for some birds we are halfway through our drive according to the GPS of course you never know if the GPS is telling you the truth or not but right now it's telling us we have an hour to go till we get to our campsite so hopefully we get there and that all goes smooth but we've been going through patches of Sun and then rain and then Sun and then rain I think we're getting pretty much up into the elevation and into the cloud forest areas where it may stay a little overcast and rainy and misty, which is what we're looking for because that's where the Quetzals are. Plus, that's where the temperature gets cooler, which after a week or so down on the coast is definitely welcomed. So, we're getting closer, guys. And it's not just cool outside anymore, it's downright cold. We're gonna have to dig out the fleeces and hope that heater cranks up when it's time to turn it on. <laughs> right, Kurt? Yep, it worked up in uh, Irisu. We'll see. So we're halfway down this little mountain side road and it is very steep. We've had to find a flat spot where we could pull off the side of the road, kind of let the brakes rest. We started to smell them just a little bit, so. We've pulled over. It's a beautiful place to stop. Kurt's gonna make us a little snack while we make sure the brakes get to cool off good. Then we still got two more kilometers to go. So far, the switchbacks have been pretty darn good, so getting out of here hopefully won't be a problem. But it is steep, right, Curtie? It is steep, it is steep, it is steep. I am, it's steep. It's steep, so. Hopefully we don't have to live here forever. <laughs> so we got down to like the end of this road. We've already told you it's been a pretty tough road. 
and everywhere we go is closed or we can't get to. One place the bridge looked like it was falling down so we couldn't even try to get to it. It's not attached that brackets not attached after those three that are bent right there that next one is not attached yeah don't worry so on. from this all the way over to where it stops bending none of that's attached to the bridge yeah so we're not going there no we're not on the way out we just decided we were going to stop at some of these fancy hotels and ask and see what was going on kurt's inside now uh we'll see what he finds out What'd you figure out? Well, I know it's been a stressful morning with that ride down here, but we have lucked out again. No. Deluxe accommodations at this hotel. There's two parking lots up here. We can take our pick. One of them has three Quetzal trees right by the parking lot. The other one, she says, she we will like better. There's three trails not one but three trails for me to hike on a vast trail system up in this cloud nice, forest nice look at that yeah so there's like a one hour a two hour and a three hour castles up through there now there is a condition we have to at least eat one meal here okay we could do that other than that it's free it's free so the other thing is, I'm sitting here connected to their Wi-Fi. Yeah, and it's open Wi-Fi in the whole place. So we'll see if it reaches the parking lot. Yeah. Good job, Curdy. All right, let's go find this parking lot. We're still connected. Ah, uh, there's an avocado tree. Yeah, so it's one of the pencil trees. So this would be parking here. Yes, this is the first one, probably. Right. So, and that's the Quetzal tree she was talking about, the avocado trees. Looks like we can get fairly level right back in there. It's not bad. Alright. Uh, we had a lost Wi Fi. There might be more up here. Connected again. Alright, so now we're going to go up here. This is the trailhead, so I think we go this way. Turn here, yeah. closer to the restaurant, it's closer to the trees, I might be able to see one. Yeah, I think that. All right, we were pulling into our parking lot and literally a Quetzal buzzed our windshield and we did not have the dash cam on, but it is in the tree right over where our van is parked. All right, guys, right above our van. Kurt's on him with the big camera. I'm holding an umbrella over him because it's raining. Three female Quetzals. Uh, one was a male, I believe. And then in this tree, emerald toucans. And here's the van. See it just kind of puff its head up, its chest out like it takes a deep breath. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I like when it stretches. Oh, there it goes. So we parked under the Quetzal trees, the avocado trees. We've seen a handful. And there's all sorts of birds making tons of bird chirping noise. The kitty's been crazy. It's nice and cool, so the screen door is open. But this is their first walk. And really, they kind of both don't know what to do. They love this environment. So I'm always glad to get them out. What do you guys smell, huh? Come on, buddy. All right, so G's found the coffee plant. So we've been cooking coffee in the in the van a lot lately. The new grinder, and uh, I guess he's fancy in coffee. All right, so the deal for getting to park here in our van and hang out at this beautiful resort is that we eat at least one meal a day in the restaurant. So we're walking down to the restaurant. It's only maybe 200 feet and a very slight hill, so it's okay on my knee. Uh, so it's good that the parking lot was close to the restaurant. Kurt picked breakfast, so let's go have us a yummy breakfast at this place. And again, it's a, a hydroelectric generator. So the water will come in here. Here's the turbine right here. Turn the turbine and turn this pulley and it create electric. First hydro hydroelectric plant here, 1981. How cool Pretty is cool. that? It's a banking system. And here's our restaurant. This little place is really loaded with birds in the morning. You can see yellow, two yellow birds right there. Yeah. A little hummingbird right there, but look at these two yellow birds right there. Okay hey guys, we may be eating out, but don't worry. I'm sticking to the healthy food. I've got a bowl of fruit with some granola and some Greek yogurt, a little bit of honey. I won't use all of that. And there's Kurt's meal, a traditional Tico breakfast. I love it, I return to dinner. There's, I got some eggs, some Pico Gallo, some plantanos, some salchichas, little tortilla, some sauce, some, some picante. Did I ask for? Cafe, cafe, yes. thank you. And I think Snow's gonna be going to the spa. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. So we're here at breakfast and we're talking with our server, Joanna, and her English is fantastic. 
Yes, and she's pretty excited about our trip. We asked her if she wanted to go with us, but she's got a daughter, so she said no. I have a daughter, but I'm so jealous. jealous Well, if y'all ever come to this wonderful resort, ask for Joanna. There's two of them, and they're both very nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Come on now, come on, won't you come with me? Time to let it go and be free. Won't you come and breathe the open skies? Come now, come listen to the melody. Slow it down, put yourself at ease. Time to live it live. Get away from the do and no. little at my dad's house down on the river we had two bottle brush plants one on each side of the sidewalk walking down to the river they didn't have this many hummingbirds in it though <laughs> morning everyone today after chasing all those kettles I'm gonna go on a hike and as you can see here there's a list of three different hikes which is a short one I think I'm going on this middle one look at these beautiful trees covered in all this moss a definite sign we're in a damp environment or up in a cloud forest or rainforest but I love the way the light hits this stuff in the morning a simple trail up along the mountain here, but it's so nice to be out in the morning in the cool air. It's nice and cool up here, and the sun's starting to come up. So you get a mix of being in the sun and the shade with the cool air. But I think that was something that was really missing in our previous lives, and that was exercise. And, you know, there's really no excuse for it. I mean, sure, we traveled a lot and led busy lifestyles, but... The reality is we just didn't fit it in our schedule and make it a priority and you know our health suffered and uh you know snow and i are digging ourselves out of the hole we put ourselves in i'm super proud of her guys she's lost a ton of weight and she keeps going and she's stubborn and she's determined to get this thing done so you know we're probably about the halfway point and uh time's closing for me personally i've lost quite a bit of weight and just feel really good with my health I'm getting stronger, my cardio is getting better, feeling healthier, and so it's just been one of those rewards that I attribute to van life um, and the change, or maybe more so van lifestyle that's afforded it. I just came on some birds. Let me see if I can get a picture of this. So once you get up to really kind of quote unquote the trail, it is really pretty. It's a narrow trail, much different than the road up. And it's kind of narrow and winding around the edge of this mountain. And I think we wrap around to a mirror door. I don't want to spoil it for you. But I think that's what's ahead. Look at the big buttresses on this tree. That's right. I said buttress. A little toadstool, a little fungus or mushroom. Maybe you guys can help me out. What is that thing? I don't think it's a mushroom. I think it's some sort of toadstool.
So I've tur clearly turned the corner on the, uh, the mountain's point there. So I'm coming back in the other direction. So basically I did a hairpin curve. And I just turned into an awesome breeze. I can hear the sounds of the river. Now, this log has fallen across the path, but it's done it a long time ago, and it conveniently left plenty of room for even me to walk right under that thing. Kind of shows you the scale of these trees here, some of these ferns and some of these other plants. Oh, look, a bridge. <laughs> Always like a good bridge. It's beautiful along this bubbling brook. And I just spotted a giant boulder. I like boulders. Wow. So pretty. The trail's getting a little muddy through here along the river. So far it's been really perfect. And we have another bridge crossing. And no matter how small, I'm counting it as crossing number two. But look at this little trickle. I had no idea this was going to be a river crossing trail, but here's bridge number four. And up there, I already see bridge number five. Number five. And another boulder. All right, we're kind of headed up. Here's a steep switch back. We might be headed up out of this, away from this river. Oh, it's cool. And just like that, we're at the mirror door. And look at this. And the cloud cover is kind of high this morning, which is kind of nice. But if you look over off to the left over there, that's actually, I believe, the east coast, the Caribbean coast. So probably around Limon, I would guess, is what we're looking at there on the beach, if you can see it on the horizon. And then we have the quilt pattern of the farms. Now I've learned from staying here that those patch, a lot of those patches are apple orchards. So we've been sitting under these avocado trees for a few days on this big acorn tree, just walk, walk, listening to them drop on our van roof or the metal roofs next door. But we've been watching these quetzals fly over and the emerald toucanes, toucanets, and so many other birds and beautiful scenery. The cat's absolutely lovely, we loved it. Went berserk uh, with all the animal sounds and things like that gorgeous hike here beautiful fauna beautiful flowers this place is gorgeous we just had an amazing time we did a lot of relaxing and actually a lot of work and it has been a joyous time so this is where we're gonna in the video wind it down but as always thank you guys for joining the journey it wouldn't be the same without you guys and do us a favor, head over to our Instagram and give us a like over there. Really trying to build up our Instagram following. But nonetheless, if the only thing you do is watch our videos, we're super to have you, happy to have you here. 
We love your comments, but we will see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Have an awesome day. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys.